and welcome to another Blender video tutorial. In this tutorial I will uh, be showing you how to assign vertex groups and assign uh, multiple materials to a single object using those vertex groups. And I'm sure somebody else has already <clears throat> done one of those videos but uh, the reason I'm doing it is because I know that uh, a lot of people that are using Hexagon are either making the switch to Blender or um, or using Blender in conjunction with Hexagon. And I had used Hexagon as my primary for a long time. <clears throat> and then a, a month ago, a month and a half maybe, uh, I really started digging into Blender. Um, because hexagon uh, just not stable and uh, cannot do a lot of the things blender does I'd been in and out of blender quite a bit but I only used a certain set of tools but uh, I've really been digging into blender and as I learn more and more I will do videos and share what I've learned um, so we're gonna discuss uh, vertex groups and assigning multiple materials to a single object using those vertex groups and bear with me I may stumble and bumble through this just a little bit um, because I am like I say I am just now digging into blender so anyway uh, let's go ahead and bring up this panel here I'm gonna press the N key and close that panel press the T key and close that panel so that's all we really need for this. I'm still going to hit my tab and uh, go into uh, the edit mode. And I'm just going to press my A key. And uh, let me let I should let you know that uh, I will not be using screencast uh, keys on uh, any of my videos because I have. Uh, a uh, custom key map set up for myself uh, according to the way I like to work so anyway I've got all uh, my objects selected I'm gonna hit my W key and I want to subdivide it well I could do that there or I could bring up my dynamic menu and bring up specials there and subdivide it and I could hit my W again and do that again or I could just say shift R and that repeats the last um, function that you just did okay <clears throat> now we have this cube subdivided okay on uh, this uh, bar here you've got several icons and the one we want to use to uh, assign our vertex groups is the little triangle with the vertices on it <clears throat> we're gonna select that one and then we'll scroll down here to vertex groups okay I'm gonna hit my C key and bring up circle select and I'm just gonna uh, select a, a, a group of vertices there and then the next thing I want to do is uh, hit my plus key here which creates a new group and then I want to assign that group and then here in name I can just click in there and give it a name and let's call it uh, let's just call it one okay <clears throat> now if I deselect that group if I have it highlighted here I can go down here and select that group I can deselect it and also if I want to um, not have that group of vertices assigned there anymore I can remove it okay so let's go up here and let's create another uh, vertex group and hit the plus key and we'll just call this group or we'll just call it two 
and assign it. Okay, so now we can select two, or we can go up here and select one, and both uh, will be selected. So, want to deselect both of them? Uh, let's see, deselect two. Okay, and that's uh, pretty much it for assigning vertex groups. Um, they're also they're under the plus and minus uh, buttons here. There's another um, little icon here. It looks like an arrow pointing down. You can click that, and there are some other options here to manage uh, your vertex groups. Um, I'm going to uh, read up on those and ask a few questions over in the forum and learn learn more about that. Uh, but just be aware that um, those options are there. And also up here in our outliner, uh, go and uh, open up our uh, hierarchy for our cube. And here it sh will show our... Uh, vertex groups under the hierarchy and I can well, let's see here I guess I didn't select those right clicking on it select okay well you have some other options there I figured it would select it if I right, right clicked on it uh, deselect hide you can hide and unhide and select linked so there's some other new options for you. Okay, <clears throat> let's move on. Let's uh, let's go ahead and go to the material tab, and let's create a new material. And uh, that is assigned to the whole object right now. Let's just give it mm, a little bit of a yellow color. And then let's uh, create, hit the plus key up here and add another material. And then we have to go new. And let's make this, let's say, let's just drag it over to a nice red. Okay, now let's go back here <clears throat> and choose uh, group one and select it. Go back to our material tab and uh, this material 001 and then we can just click assign okay uh, let's create another material and then new <clears throat> and let's make this green okay now let's go back to our vertex groups and select vertex group 2 Go back to your materials tab and click assign. And there you have it. Multiple uh, materials on a single object. Um, I know that's pretty basic and, and a lot of uh, you blender heads out there pretty well know how to do that already. But uh, I know that I have a lot of people on my channel that, that uh, did not know that. And I'm learning all this, and I will share as I learn. And I do appreciate you watching. Be sure to subscribe or like this video. Have a great day.